Hey folks, welcome to another how-to Casio video. In this video, we're going to be looking at how to go from equation to table on this Casio FX8200 AU calculator. So, without further ado, let's get started. Alright folks, so the first thing we want to be doing is switching on the calculator. Click on the home button and you should get to the main kind of menu here. We're going to go down to table and we're going to click EXE. And right now it says FFX and GFX is none. This is basically saying that there is actually no functions that are actually stored for f of x or g of x. So what we're going to do is we're going to write f of x as this particular function here. So to do that, we're going to click on function. And what you'll notice is this is what f of x is. But we actually need to click on define f of x. So in here, we're going to click on exe. And for f of x, we're going to write in 3x squared minus 2x plus 4. And the way we're going to do that is click on 3. And for the x, we're going to use this x here, the squared, and then we've got minus 2x plus 4. Once we do this, what we've actually assigned is we've actually told the calculator that f of x is actually equal to this. Now, as you can see, the tables are actually empty here. What we want to do is we want to have a set of x values and then f of x to actually be spit out. So we're going to click on Tools. And as you can see, right now, there's a button called Table Range. We're going to click on Table Range. And we want this table to start from 1. And we want this to finish at 5. And we're going to go up in one step. That basically means that we're going to get the table that's going to go from 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Once you do that, we're going to go all the way down to that menu. And there's a button called Execute. Click on that. And what you have is you've got the x values, which is 1, 2, 3. And the corresponding y values are actually given. So when x equals to 1, y is equal to 5. When x equals to 2, y is equal to 12. When x equals to 3, which is right here, and you can see that y is equal to 25. Now the way we've set up this table is that it is actually going only up to 5. But sometimes you just want to put the value in and figure out what f of x is. The cool thing about this particular table is that you should be able to just click on 20 and if you press enter, it will automatically give you what the f of x is. So for example, if I wanted to do f of 20, then I just put 20 into the x values, and then it'll automatically calculate the corresponding y value. But at the same time, we won't be able to do it in reverse. So as you can see, you cannot actually enter a, another number in f of x. So it doesn't actually go backwards. It only goes forward. So we can put an x and we should be able to get f of x. And folks, that's pretty much how you go from equation to table on this particular Casio FX8200 AU calculator.